Big news overnight. Mitt Romney savoring two big wins this morning. He narrowly beat Rick Santorum in his home state of Michigan, where his own father was governor. But Romney won handily in Arizona and now heads into next week's Super Tuesday with a lot of momentum. After last night's victories, Romney attacked President Obama. He's looking ahead to the future and on the economy and jobs. We've seen enough of this president over the last three years to know that we don't need another five years of President Obama because. Uh... Yeah, that was part of his address last night after those two big wins. More than half of Michigan voters, by the way, said the economy was the most important issue behind their vote. OK, just what you want to hear. Bears tickets are getting even more expensive, but not for everybody. Non-club tickets are going up two to ten dollars each. That's about 85 percent of the seats at Soldier Field Club tickets are staying the same price, but they're not cheap. Is that you, Mark? No, it's just... not me. I know what <laughs> you're thinking. Just... That is not me. I thought that... We were just oh. analyzing it ourselves. Yeah. Right. Right. Hmm. right. Just for... I just had caught a corner on my yeah. head. No, not uh, me. They change uh, those seats I'm talking about from 265 bucks to more than 500. If you're looking for a bargain, those season tickets are still the way to go. Yeah. They're about $25 cheaper than list price a bargain. per game. And I think if you dress up like that, you should get a discount. I mean, that should be an automatic. See, I was thinking the other way. You they more. should charge you $10 yeah. more because yeah. you may be a security risk. And certainly a distraction. Oh, I like that. I like seeing that. I'm just kidding. Uh, hey, you know what? We show some cute uh, weather bear uh, pictures sometimes. You know, the weather sure. bear's been all over from uh, the Eiffel Tower, you know, been down in the islands. Yes. Check out the screen, though. This is just so adorable. Oh. This is baby Travis, three weeks oh. old. A shot sent nice. from Amy uh, Lesnowitz. Thank you very much. Thanks, uh, Amy. And Thanks, baby Amy. Travis looks so pleased to have Weather Bear. You know what I, I mean? Just, I want to know where I get one of those little baby Travis bear outfits. I mean, that is, that's, <laughs> that's oh, baby Travis is just a, so a precious. A future Weather Bear right there. Yeah, yeah, you know exactly. what? Uh, there are Weather Bears breaking out all over the place. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thanks again. Well, we've got uh, improving <laughs> conditions across Chicago here today. The fog is lifting. Uh, we are seeing even some branches and some peaks of sunshine. We're dry this morning, but very very windy winds at times could gust up to 40, 45, even 50 miles per hour, especially along and south of Interstate 80. There is a wind advisory that is posted from 9 o'clock this morning, uh, just a little bit less than an hour from now, uh, through 6 o'clock this evening. So very extremely windy conditions. Be careful, especially if you drive in the big rig or, you know, maybe in a, a high profile vehicle. We are seeing sunshine break out. Still some fog limited visibility along the lake in Waukegan, but plenty of sunshine breaking out across Chicago. We will take it. What's happening right now is we're being dry slotted. We've got this large low pressure area spinning in the atmosphere and here comes this wedge of dry weather sliding right up here. That means not only dry conditions for us, windy conditions, but it also means some sunshine. So we're surrounded by clouds. We're surrounded by showers, even some thunderstorms. But here in Chicago, we we eke out some very nice weather this morning. All right, that low will spin right over top of us. The clouds will return as we go through the afternoon, certainly and towards the evening. In fact, as temperatures tumble back down to around 32 degrees, some snowflakes and flurries are possible overnight tonight. Don't worry, though, Sandra. We're back to some sunshine tomorrow and temperatures back up to nearly right. 50 degrees. <laughs> I think you just made everyone's day. All right, well, good morning to you. Just want to remind you, we had some earlier delays on Metro's Burlington Northern Santa Fe line. Had some mechanical issues on train number 1230. It was running about a half an hour late, so make sure you check that schedule and it, that it hasn't affected your train specifically. Also in Crest Hill, Route 53 southbound near Caton Farm, we have an accident emergency crews are tending to. Take a look outside. Here we are. This is a beautiful shot. The sun coming out, the fog clearing, 355 South Extension down by the Des Plaines River Bridge. No problems at all in either direction. As far as what's happening on the Edens, inbound 25, back up north at 35 minutes. Kennedy 50 in from O'Hare, same on the way back out. So far, not getting reports of any problems at Midway or O'Hare. The Eisenhower one hour in from Thorndale, 40 from Mannheim, 55 on the way back west. Stevenson at one hour, delay starting back around 53 over to Cass. And then again from just past the Tri-State on in towards Pulaski, Dan Ryan at a half an hour. Bishop Ford 57, a mess into the Dan Ryan, so be aware of that. Lakeshore Drive at a half an hour in both directions, Corey and Anna. Thank you, Sandra. Up next here, Good Day Chicago. We're talking Leap Day shopping coming yeah. up.
Yeah, special bargains. Yeah. Who knew? Who needs Black Friday when you have uh, Leap Day, right? <laughs> Consumer Reporter checks in. He'll tell us all about him. That's coming up next. Okay, and a reminder to you, we want you to make the call. We want to hear from you. Today, the question is, how will you be spending your extra day, Leap Day? What are you doing today? Post your comments on Facebook. Let us know. Tweet us, and we'll be right back sharing some of that and more here on Good Day Chicago. Eight thirteen. Welcome back, and here are some of the top stories we're following for you this morning. A 15-year-old girl has died after a hit-and-run accident. Happened last night in the Southside Gresham neighborhood. Police say the girl was running across Ashland near 80th when she was hit. Police are now looking for a minivan that sped from the scene. A 15-year-old boy was shot and killed last night in the Marquette Park neighborhood. It happened near 69th and Washtenaw. Police say the boy was walking with a girl when a man got out of a silver-colored sedan and started to shoot. So far, there are no arrests. Well, there are the deals that uh, only come around once every four years. And who knew they even existed? Leap Day <laughs> deals. Fox Consumer Reporter Steve Noviello is in Dallas this morning with a look at how retailers are trying to entice you to come in with special deals. <laughs> If you love to travel, today is the day for some deep discounts for that next vacation. Let's take you right to them, starting with the folks at the Trump Hotels. Their entire collection on sale today, including properties in New York, Chicago, Las Vegas, Panama, Toronto, and Waikiki. They're offering a 29% discounts off all suites booked today only. You can stay between tomorrow and the end of April. Maybe Beantown is more your deal. Well, you want to set your reminder for 229 today. That's when the Charles Hotel is having a one hour flash sale. They're offering 29% off new reservations for deluxe rooms and suites. The folks at Marriott also offering a deep deal today, offering $229 rooms at their Frenchman's Reef in St. Thomas. And here's the best part. Your next night is only $29. You can stay between March 1st and October 29th. And maybe Paris is a better destination for you. Well, you've got all year to use this deal. Book today at the Hotel Debussy, and you can upgrade your room for just 29 euros. Breakfast for two, also only 29 euros. But if you're staying put, maybe travel is not in your forecast. Today is also a day where a lot of companies will be launching new products, including the folks at Friskies. They're calling today day plus day. It's the day when they're launching their new plus formula cat food, which is designed to help your cat's vision and immune system. They're celebrating with free plus day giveaways all year, all day long. And maybe a treat for you, Subway giving away free cookies today with any purchase. Of course, a lot of these deals you've got to take advantage of today. They will expire at midnight. But remember, just because something is priced with a 29 in it doesn't mean it's necessarily the best deal. You always want to make sure you do your homework first. Links to all the deals we talked about right now, myfoxchicago.com. And luckily we have Steve Noviello to do our homework for I us. Because we are usually well on top of it when there's a free food day. And right. we didn't know about free cooking. No, we, we might have to hit the subway mark. What do you say? I'm still trying to convert the euros that he was talking about. I, you know, <laughs> I'm not sure how that works He gets today. into it. All right, uh, this morning we're looking at uh, sunshine now over the city. What a stark contrast from just about 90 minutes ago when we were completely socked in by fog downtown along the lake. Now, the fog issues weren't quite as bad inland. Topping our news at 9 o'clock, a tornado has touched down in Branson, Missouri, causing some serious damage to the famous downtown area there. The Guardian Angels are out in force this morning. They're aiding in the search for a suspect after a sexual assault on the CTA. And Mitt Romney wins primaries in Michigan and Arizona, but will it be enough to deliver a knockout punch to his opponents? Good day, Chicago. Nine o'clock exactly. Happy Leap Day to you. We hope your day's getting off to a good start. Yeah. Enjoying this extra day. Let's get to uh, <laughs> some of what's coming up here in our next hour. All right, we're going to talk about a group of moms that uh, they want Toys R Us to remove a comic book from store shelves because they don't like the message it sends to their kids. An Archie comic? Hmm. Mm. <laughs> Plus, in today's trenders, a guy decides to use Jack Nicholson's name to pull off a con. 
what he did that made him look like the Joker of all people's pictures yeah. to steal. Okay. <laughs> it's trending online. <laughs> also, we have a video that's going viral this morning. It shows a father Whoa. capturing his son's very interesting reaction to the medication oh, boy. We've after seen this, right? he breaks his <laughs> arm. Oh, no. Yeah. Have yeah. you seen this with the kid that goes to the dentist? There's a yeah. similar one out yeah, there the, online. Yeah. Just kind of out of it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah I have seen <laughs> those. Kind. Yeah. Of course, his dad mm. catches it on tape for him. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, nice. yeah. we'll for abuse life. you with this for the rest of your life. Yeah, <laughs> right. exactly. Hey, Mark, what's yeah. going on over there, buddy? That's coming out on the wedding day. Right. That's going to be yes. in the video right you know above it. the bride right <laughs> yeah. there. All right, Don, this morning we're looking at uh, some sunshine today at the moment. Uh, it's not going to last all day long. We do have clouds virtually all around us, uh, north, south, east, and west. And we've kind of uh, put a little dry air slot right in across Chicago, which really means great conditions this morning. We're going to see temperatures continue to soar up to nearly 60 degrees. I'm going to go 58 today. Now, the downside of today, not only will we have clouds coming in later on, uh, this afternoon, but it's going to be extraordinarily windy. Winds gusting at times 40 to 45 miles per hour. Some occasional higher gusts up to around 50, especially south of the city along and south of Interstate 80. That's where we're looking at a wind advisory today. Uh, some snow flurries by tonight. So look at that, guys. We go from nearly 60 to snow flurries all within 12 hours. Gee. <laughs> well, that, that's Chicago, right? Nearly 60 degrees. Oh, oh. Isn't that incredible? Thanks, Mark. All right, we're going to turn to local news now. And two separate attacks on the south side have the Guardian angels riding the CTA and spreading the word about personal safety. This morning, they're focusing their efforts on women and teens who ride the CTA. Nita Padilla has more now in a live report from the Red Line stop at 87th and the Dan Ryan. Good morning, Anita. Hi, good morning to both of you. It is a, uh, a dangerous thing to think about the fact that you could be walking at any time of day or night. And, you know, this is the city of Chicago, so you do always have to be aware. And this, you know, these incidents both happened to a woman in the early morning hours and then a teenager who was simply walking to school and this took place. So let's take a look at the video, though, of the guardian angels at work this morning. Do you think they're aware of the fact that these uh, incidents are happening and that they need to be aware of how they had to handle themselves? For the most part, the general public is aware. You're still going to find some people who may have not been watching the news or not paying attention, and you, that, that goes with everything. Okay. Right, Miguel Fuentes, again, thank you so much for joining us here. Again, a good day, Chicago. That is the latest right now from the south side, 87th and Dan Ryan, Anita Padilla on Chicago News. Back to you. All right, Anita, thank you. 9.05, and you know it has been a tragic morning in southern Illinois and southwestern Missouri. A hospital in Harrisburg, Illinois, now reporting this morning that three people have died as a result of early morning storms that hit the area. Mark's been telling us about this um, all morning long. This is on top of the other death in southwestern Missouri near Branson. A tornado slammed into Branson, Missouri, just before dawn. One person died in the town of Buffalo, Missouri. Power and cell phone service out in a large part of the city. It appears the downtown area suffered some serious damage as well. Roofs and marquees, a lot to clean up there this morning. Harleyville, Kansas, also suffering heavy damage last night when the tornado hit there as well. Dozens of homes, businesses have been leveled. Nine people injured in that town alone. A new poll shows the effort to recall Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker is a dead heat right now. A public policy polling survey shows 49% support the recall and 49% oppose it. Just 2% undecided. Labor unions and Democrats are trying to get Walker removed from office for passing a bill that strips public employee unions of their collective bargaining rights. All right, Corey Chambers standing by checking business news for us this morning. Hey, Corp. Hey, morning, guys. Of course, we're watching the uh, markets this morning. We closed above 13,000 yesterday on the Dow, and today we're adding to it. Dow is up uh, about 20 points, 25 points. Look at that. You see it's at uh, 13,020. Six points right now, so a good start. We got some new numbers on gross domestic product. Those numbers are pretty good, in fact, showing the fastest gain in GDP since the second quarter of uh, 2010. So at least some positive news there to kind of get us going here. Well, lighting up a fine cigar in Cook County will cost you more starting tomorrow. That's when a new Cook County tax on cigars, loose tobacco, and chew tobacco takes effect. The average cigar will cost about 25 cents more. The new tax is supposed to raise $9 million. And Chicago area home prices have taken another hit. Prices dropped 2 percent in December and have now dropped 35 percent since the peak of the housing market back in 06. Housing experts say the housing market will not recover until the job market improves and foreclosures are cleared off the market. Guys.
Thanks, Corey, very much. We're going to look here ahead at other news and um, make, other stories making news. 907. Republican Senator Olympia Snow of Maine has announced she will not be seeking re-election this fall. Snow says she is not going to run because she's tired of the toxic and polarizing atmosphere in Washington. She's a moderate Republican who has served in Congress for 33 years, and her decision to step down could hurt efforts by Republicans to retake control of the U.S. Senate. 44 incumbents have now announced they are not going to seek re-election in the fall. A Democratic state senator in California has introduced a bill which would allow nurses and midwives to perform early term abortions. Christine Kehoe of San Diego introduced the bill saying there are now enough abortion providers in the state to provide women with the services they need. It would allow abortions in the first 15 weeks of a pregnancy. The proposal has already been condemned by a number of pro-life groups who question just how safe it would be. Okay, a One Million Moms group is making a statement. They're calling on Toys R Us to remove a comic book that features a gay wedding. Issue 16 of the Life with Archie series features a cover that shows a gay wedding with the headline, Just Married. The One Million Moms group says the issue is offensive because it can be seen by small children, according to the Moms group. They say unless it is removed, they are going to boycott the store. Okay, we have a video of the day, and it's it's a poor kid who's going to be traumatized this, by this video well, later in life, for right? The rest Is that of the deal? Life. I have no. a feeling that the kid will actually enjoy uh, okay. this, this video as he gets older. But Maybe, anyway, it shows a kid getting a cast after breaking his arm while playing hockey. Now you think he'd be in a lot of pain, but apparently he's on some pretty strong drugs. Woo. His father videotapes a reaction. <laughs> I thought if you wanted this more than this, let go. Man. Krishna has got more than the work of a Everything's in slow motion. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I sound like the Joker. Yes. What do you say? What do you say? I sound like the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> and he starts cackling. Uh, he also, uh, yeah, he also, yeah, there you go. He also tells the nurse, uh, you look pretty. So uh, he's feeling pretty good. He's feeling pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, Mark, that's definitely coming out on the wedding right, day. Right. Yeah. It's what you shoot that for. Especially yeah. him hitting on, like, you know, the nurse. That's oh, just, yeah. Every nurse wants Classy. to be Classy. Yeah, yeah, they love that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like that. You do. Nothing but classy. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I got a broken arm, but, you yeah. know, lady, what are you doing girl. later on? Yeah. <laughs> Works every time. Right, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. All right, look at this. Showers, thunderstorms this morning. Fog around this morning. That's all cleared out. We're back to some sunshine and we should enjoy some sunshine for at least for a while this morning. There are some clouds advancing in from Wisconsin into Iowa into the northwestern corner of Illinois. Basically, we're surrounded by clouds. We've got clouds, showers and rain to the north, to the south, to the east and the west, virtually the entire area. But what we're seeing is this dry slot of air slide in from Missouri into St. Louis right here into Chicago. So we'll enjoy some sunshine along with the mild temperatures throughout the morning into the uh, early afternoon. Well, a front does march through and that front will eventually cool us down. We'll see temperatures today about 20 degrees above normal temperatures, almost 60 degrees today. But by tonight, look at this, some clouds coming in and a chance of a couple of flurries overnight. So not as temperatures dip back down to around 32 degrees. Now tomorrow looks pretty decent, kind of a mix of sun and clouds, dry weather. But Friday advances some more moisture our direction. Some showers looks fairly wet on Friday. The weekend looks a little bit cooler. Temperatures now 60. It is 60 in the loop. Oh, loving it. 60 with some sunshine. And we're still in February, if uh, even technically. Uh, 56 degrees LaGrange, 58 degrees now. Orland Park temperatures now all universally in the 50s. 59 at Kankakee, 61 coming in out. Gary, 61 degrees at Merrillville. Look at this, though. Benton Harbor, you're missing out, fells. 44 degrees there. All right, temperatures today topping out nearly 60 degrees and 60 in many cases. And we'll talk about more about that weekend forecast coming up in a moment. Back to you guys. <laughs> It's amazing. That's just wild. Isn't February 29th that he's talking to 60s. It's yeah. a leap day miracle. It is. It really is. Yeah. We'll always remember this day. <laughs> uh, a special deal from Zappos.com. Why every parent will be happy about this shoe deal. It is an amazing yeah. deal, folks. We'll be talking about that coming up. And her pants fit like butter. Paula Dean was known for what? adding butter to just about everything. Now she's literally shedding the pounds in order to prove a point about her food. Mm. 9-12 is the time. We're back in a moment.